What's up guys? Um, this really is not a knife review, but this is just a quick commentary um, on the small Sabenza. You guys know that I've had uh, so many small Sabenzas. I think this is either my fifth or sixth uh, small Sabenza, but this is my first variation of uh, Sabenza with the Insingo blade style. And um, I heard a lot of things about it. Uh, I, for me, it was always kind of funky. Um, I'm not a huge uh, sheep's foot um, fan, but the, yeah, the opportunity came to, came up to get uh, this Insingo small Sabenza, and I started carrying it around for a couple of days. And to me, this this is I, I think for the everyday person. Um, this is probably one of the most perfect EDCs out there. Um, such a capable and good uh, user with the sheep's foot pattern or style blade. Um, Insingo, yeah, is, is just is really great. You know, when you compare the blade shape to, uh, say, the large Sabenza, um, somewhat less threatening. Um, you know, it doesn't have as large of a belly, but it still has a very nice and capable um, sweeping not not huge sweeping but you know good belly right here to do any kind of draw cuts um, it's gonna do well as a stabber as well it's got this swedge near the tip as well that's um, very nicely ground and it's pretty you know it's pretty sharp it's even sharper um, than the then the Umnumzan swedge uh, near the tip here. So you can see this edge right there. This is actually a lot more rounded than the Insingo right there. So, you know, I was, this is around Christmas time when I got this blade, Christmas of 2012. And, you know, it was really nice just being able to use this swedge up top to be able to cut through tape and and those kinds of things. So, you know, overall size of the small Sabenza, I just think um, this knife, you know, really started getting me. This, I think, this knife and the the Spider Echo Flipper kind of turned me on to uh, slightly smaller blades. So, no longer am I necessarily searching out for these monster, you know, <laughs> you know, Dalibor Regulus. When you compare these two blades, you know, CPM three V and S30V right here on this one. Um, I'm kind of enjoying you know, having this little knife uh, in my pocket versus this massive just crotch rod, if you will. Um, and you're, this, so seriously, this thing just like sticks out in your pocket like mad. Um, so anyway, uh, really quick little thoughts um, on EDCs and things like that. Uh, this is just such an awesome blade. Uh, I really, really like the form factor of the of the Insingo. Um, I don't know if I would go out and get a you know in large Insingo, but you know for me this I I feel like I could really do everything that I need to do with this small blade and really be happy with it. Um, so of course I'm gonna still carry all my other blades. But um, overall, you know, just with the thin profile of the small Sabenza and just with a slightly what seems like more capable um, blade in the Insingo style, um, yeah, I really, really like this one. So anyway, really quick video and thoughts of the Insingo style uh, on the small Sabenza. Again, for the average user, I really think it's the perfect uh, EDC. Um, that's kind of what my brother was saying. When he saw this knife and he was kind of getting a feel for it and he's not like a huge knife guy he's the guy that got me into knives but um yeah when he felt this knife he's like wow this is like the perfect edc and i really agree with him um on his that <laughs> that little uh amateurish assessment if you will i'm such a snob uh anyway quick thoughts uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and uh, thanks for watching my videos and i'll see you guys on the next one bye